Dr. Jaffe, the LRA rota rotation diet notes that if an individual is reactive to a yeast, then it is recommended they avoid fruit for the first month. Do you have a list that separates the molds from the yeast that can be tested in the LRA test? Do you recommend individuals who react to any mold also avoid fruit in the first month? Well, where that recommendation comes from is long ago, based on Sally Rockwell's careful and diligent observations about rotation diets and the fact that fruit were commonly, when you buy them in a store, fruit were commonly contaminated with surface uh, mold. And you want to access the skin of the fruit because that's where the nutrients are. The pulp or the inside of the fruit is mostly fiber, pectin, it's helpful. It helps bind toxins in the intestines. It helps keep a healthy transit time. So that's all to the, to the good. What we've learned since then, and thanks for raising the question because we should amend the comment. If you wash the fruit when you get home in baking soda and then in vinegar and then just dry it, for example, if you have an apple, the apple will have a little pip, will have a little stem. What I do is I turn the stem so the stem comes off because I don't want to eat the stem. And then I often notice that if I have a paper towel or a, a clean um, rag or dish towel or something, if I rotate down in there, some dust comes up because the average fruit went a long way and got put in a warehouse, at least at some time, and then loaded on another truck and moved around. So now that we know you can remove surface mold using a wash of baking soda and a wash of vinegar, what we use, it's a tablespoon of baking soda to a half full sink of water, warm to the touch, you put the fruit in and you just slosh it around. And now you have removed a whole class of toxins, including spores and mold. However, some are still clinging. And when you switch from alkaline baking soda to slightly acid or to acid vinegar, you can remove the remainder. The vinegar that we use happens to be organic apple cider vinegar because that's the vinegar we have. I think you can use for this acetic acid, which is the clear vinegar that's commonly used. The point is you want to be alkaline and remove things because of the baking soda. And you want to have an acid wash to remove things that are removed by acid. And then you want to dry the fruit. And then what we do is we put the fruit out. We like to look at it for a little while. Now, I by choice live in the woods. And that means there are spores and mold in the air all the time. I do think there are some people who deserve to have a very advanced air cleaner called a molecular that actually um, electrolytically removes mold spores from the air. But those are a small minority of people, although a growing minority of people, who have been exposed to mold, mostly the black mold, the Botrytis kind of mold, that exists behind the paint or behind the tile because of small water leaks that are surprisingly common. And as I mentioned, I live in the woods by choice, but I also live in an old house by choice, which means we get leaks. We have to inspect the pipes regularly because they're copper. Um, and therefore they're subject occasionally uh, to little pinhole leaks. And the way uh, I've organized my house, you can see if that is happening very quickly because we can see where the pipes are, at least downstairs. So that may be more of an answer than was really um, needed because it is a complicated question. Degrees of mold sensitivity vary from person to person. 
But more importantly, with regard to fruit, which was really the question, I recommend a baking soda bath, followed by a vinegar bath, followed by a kitchen towel to dry the fruit. And if you're really mold sensitive or mold concerned or live, them, live, them, live in a moldy area, you might want to put the fruit right away in the refrigerator. Mold doesn't grow very well in refrigerators. There are certain molds that do, but they won't be on the fruit. So the bottom line is enjoy fruits and vegetables with their skin on, but enjoy them after you've washed off the surface spores and mold. 